In this video, we're going to take a look at reciprocal graphs. Now, to begin with here, what we're taking a look at is something of the form y equals k over x, where in this case, k is just a constant. Now, I've got two different examples here. What I've got on the left-hand side is when k is positive, so when k is greater than 0. And then on the right-hand side here, we have when k is less than 0, so when k is negative. So to begin with, let's take a look at the two different blue curves here. So on the left-hand side, we can see we've got this blue curve here. And on the right hand side, we've got this curve here again in blue. So I just switched to a blue pen here just to highlight this. Then on the left hand side, this is a sketch of y equals 1 over x. And on the right hand side here, that would be a sketch of y equals minus 1 over x. Okay. So to begin with here, let's take a look at the left hand side. So when I've got y equals 1 over x, what I do is I put an x value in here, say 1. So I'd get 1 over 1, and that would tell me that y is also 1. Okay, so when x is 1, y is 1. When x is 2, I'd get y equals a half, and so on. Okay, and you can see we get something that looks like this. Okay, so for positive x values, we're in this quadrant. And then for negative x values, we're in this quadrant here. Okay. Now for a graph like this, we do have asymptotes to the curve. So what you can see here is actually marked already on the diagram, but we have a asymptote here along the y-axis. So up the y-axis here. So that asymptote there would be when x is equal to zero. Let's just make a note of this here. So asymptotes will have one when x is equal to zero. And similarly, we've got one here along the x-axis. So when y is equal to zero. Okay, like so. So we can make note of that there. So when y is equal to zero, then again, we have an asymptote here along the x-axis. And the same is true for the version here when k is less than zero. So when k is less than zero, again, we have asymptotes along the x-axis and again, along the y-axis. So again, we'll have asymptotes at x equals zero and again, at y equals zero. So the asymptotes for when k is greater than zero are the same for when k is less than zero. So the same applies here for when we have y equals minus 1 over x. Again, if you pick an x value, say 1, I get minus 1 over 1. So when x is 1, I get minus 1 there for y. Okay, and you can see that's how we plot those values. And like I said, the asymptotes are the same there. So what about the red curves here? Well, the red ones in this case, we switch to red. That's when we have on the left-hand side, y equals 4 over x. And then on the right-hand side here, we have y equals minus 4 over x okay so you can see it just kind of pulls away from the origin here this is my origin here it's just getting further and further away from the origin same again here when k is less than zero okay and all you can see here really if you look at these two different curves now then when we go to the versions with k being less than zero so when k is negative then the difference between y equals 1 over x and y equals minus 1 over x is a reflection in the y-axis there okay so that's all that's happening there when we're going between positive and negative values of k let's take a look now at the other versions of reciprocal graphs that you need to be familiar with so this is for something of the form so if i just switch to a different pen color here so y is equal to k over x squared okay so i've got two different examples here i've got this blue curve and I have this red curve here, okay? So if I think about the blue curve here first, so this is something of the form y equals 1 over x squared. So what you can see here is when k is positive, so when k is greater than 0, then we're above the x-axis like this. Again, we have asymptotes here. I'll have an asymptote along the x-axis, and again, we have one along the y-axis. So very similar to what we just saw on the previous page. So like we said, that will be above the x-axis. And then in red here, if I do this in red, we have y equals minus 1 over x squared. And in this case, we have k being negative, so k is less than 0. And in that case, then, like you can see, we're now below the x-axis. Okay. Again here, we have an asymptote along the x-axis. And again, an asymptote along the y-axis. So I just make note of those asymptotes here. This is true for both the blue curve and the red curve. So asymptotes 
we have one at x equals zero and one at y equals zero. Okay. And there we have it. So that's all we really need to be familiar with and know for reciprocal graphs. So that brings us to the end of this video on reciprocal graphs. In the next video, we're going to take a look at points of intersection.